Hey guys, so today we're going to be making tessellations. This is an example from a student last year who made a tessellation using dogs, very creative. So the materials that you're going to need are your white piece of paper, the 6x9 for your final project, along with the colored piece of paper that I gave you for your master shape. You will also need tape, scissors, a ruler, and you'll also be needing a pencil and something to color with after. So first we're going to start by making a square with our colored piece of paper. You're going to take your ruler and mark 2.5 inches, just like I'm doing here. And this is going to create one side of our square. Then I'm going to connect those dots together to draw a straight line. Now we're going to be doing the same thing to create the other side of our square. And this will be for our master shape for our tessellation. Now I'm gonna take my scissors and cut out the square that I just made. All right, so now I have my square. So now I'm gonna to start to think about what do I want my tessellation to look like? So I'm gonna cut out this kind of wave-like shape on the bottom. And once I've done that, I'm going to place it in a safe place because we're going to be needing this and we'll be taping it back onto our master shape. So now I'm going to cut into the side. All right, now this is the step that we tape our pieces that we cut out back to our square. So I'm going to be taping that kind of thin wave shape right directly above where I cut it out on the top of my square. And I'm going to be doing the same for that piece I cut out on the side. I'm going to be taping that directly um, on the opposite side. And it's okay if it takes you a few practices. This is kind of a hard step, so make sure you're trying to be as precise as possible and getting those two pieces taped back onto your square. And this is our master shape that we'll be using for our tessellation. So now with your final piece of paper, you're going to be placing that master shape down. And with your pencil, you're going to be starting to trace that and it doesn't matter where you place your master shape on the paper anywhere will work i'm just going to start on this left side for now
All right, so I have traced that first master shape. Now I'm going to move it over directly in front, and it should fit perfectly, almost like a puzzle. Now you're going to go ahead and continue tracing, and so on and so on. All right, so now I'm going to place that on top. So that fin shape should fit perfectly within my master shape. And it's okay if your shape runs off the paper. That's totally fine. That's going to happen. And continue to do this until your whole paper is filled with your master shape. All right, so now I'm gonna be starting to see what my tessellation kind of turned out looking like. So now start to add some details and you'll have to repeat those throughout each shape. 